how to connect GoDaddy domain to Shopify. So to get started, you do want to both open up the general Shopify dashboard as well as the GoDaddy dashboard right here. And by the way, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. So if you do want to supercharge your Shopify sales, make sure to click on the link down below. Anyways, to get started, you will have to actually head over to the settings on Shopify right here on the bottom left, and then you will have to navigate to domains. Now, this is probably going to look slightly different on your end, as I've already added a couple of domains, but basically this default domain, myshopify.com, is probably also going to be visible for you. Uh, anyways, the setup is going to be exactly the same, so make sure to just click on connect existing domain right here, and then head over to GoDaddy. Now, to actually connect uh, our domain to Shopify, we will have to add some custom DNS records. So, to do so, just select your domain and then click on DNS right here. And this is going to redirect you to the DNS management of GoDaddy. Now, this is really important. By default, you actually do want to delete all of the different records. So, let me actually just go through this. Um, uh, because otherwise your domain isn't going to be correctly redirected uh, and Shopify isn't actually going to get all of the data. So in this case, uh, we can actually delete this right now. So we are going to delete this later on. And now let's actually add a new record onto this. Now, basically, we are going to add three different records. I will also leave you the, uh, the thing. Uh, basically, I will also leave you this in the description down below. So to get started, we are going to add an A record. As for the name, we are going to put in an ad right here. Then as for the value, we are just going to simply copy this uh, from right here, going to paste this in right here. As for the TTL, you can just leave this at the default right here. It doesn't really matter. Make sure to just don't mess around with this if you don't know what you're doing. And then add a new record onto this. Make sure to actually choose an AAAA record. Once again, um, the name uh, basically is going to be an ad. As for the value right here, we then want to actually just copy and paste this from right here uh, onto this. Once again, the TTL, we can just leave at the default. And then we do want to add one final record, which would be a CNAME record. And um, then as for the name right here, we actually do want to put in www. This is really important. And as for the value, make sure to just copy and paste this right here. Make sure to actually also include this little dot at the end, because otherwise this isn't going to be correctly set up and this isn't going to work. So make sure to just save this. And as you can see, now this successfully got updated. Now, as this stage right here basically most dns records are going to be updated within an hour however sometimes this can also take up to 48 hours but anyways let's now just continue with the setup over on shopify so right here you will then have to put in the put in your domain essentially in this case for me this would be causa accessories.xyz so i'm just going to put in www causeaccessories.xyz. So then I'm just going to click on next and now you will just have to verify your connection um, and then basically they're going to go through this and now as you can see the, name, the domain got added right here. However, we aren't done yet. Make sure to just click on here and then this is really important click on change domain type and then select primary domain so that this will actually get displayed in the address bar when visitors are going to be on your online store then repeat this process for the normal one without the ww make sure to change the domain type to primary domain and then once this got updated, we can now preview our site. Now, once again, this sometimes can take upwards of 48 hours. However, in this case, this instantly got connected and we can now use this domain for our Shopify store. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. Make sure to check out the link down below.